E comes out on top. Like, it is not too big of a surprise to see E win this out. But, considering how well they've played all tournament, it's going to give us a good set. Oh, for sure. And here we go, starting up. And th these two have taken sets from each other before. So, we're, we're going to see who's going to be the more dominant player on the state. E has been on a hot streak lately. He though. has. He's been making, like, grand Zeno every week. He's been... One Zeno, pretty. Uh, I know he he won not this past Wednesday, but the one before that. He won over DeBuzz and Venia. Yeah, which is insane. So, no, if they, if there's a player who's truly coming into his prime prime time right now, it's definitely Mystery. He's like right on the event horizon of figuring his place in the top echelon of Smash, because like we see him travel so much. And we, he, he doesn't get the results that satisfy him. And we see him come home, and he still performs well. But unless he's winning, it's not enough for him. But the same could be said for DeBuzz, who, as of late, at least in the grand scheme of like Western Smash, he's playing the role of the bridesmaid. And never the bride. He hasn't had his big pop yet. Today might be the fair opportunity for it. You have all of, all of New York's finest here out, out here. It would be a today. great way to just cement your dominance on a, uh, such a strong scene already. Literally. Well, like, you're going to have to work for that. Game one against uh, Eon Final Destination. Not an easy spot to do it. Not for sure. But he's been doing a great job of keeping it relatively in right now, not overextending. Every time he's able to get those punishes, I think, when DeBuzz uh, smashes on the shield. I think Lucina's great for getting that extra sort of reach that you really need against characters like Olimar. That's a very risky roll behind. Sweeped him off his feet, though, with that up tilt right there to take that stock. Or should I say swept? Yeah. Some <laughs> Potato potato. Keep the let's play up here. He's swiping away. He's, He's trying. Swinging, bro. My man's Tinder game must be fire, bro, with all these swipes. Ugh, that's a vintage bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> Tinder combo? The... Basically just rebranded Tinder combos. You gotta, you gotta take that one from the back of the yeah, fridge. Yeah, dude. It's old. old it's, it's expired. Yeah. It, it, oldie, not, I don't know if it's a goodie, though. It might be expired. That is not a goldie. <laughs> <laughs> not, do not put that evil <laughs> on my name. <laughs> Ugh. All right, well... The buzz is in pretty right now, at least. Wow. <laughs> the spot dodge on reaction. That was, I love I mean, that it. was matrix levels of dodging right there. <laughs> it's like super exact, too. Because, like, he spaced it super well. He angled it downwards. Like, there was no escape for for the buzz. He's just catching these landings by the buzz so well. His grab game has been super consistent this entire time. Right. We get it. You're nice. My man went deep.com for that one. Jesus. 3 a.m. conversation, we better have a talk about life real quick. Let's You're bringing back all the classics. We're bringing back all of them, bro. I mean, this is a classic set. This is something I haven't seen in forever. I've been seeing this since I started playing this game, man, back in 2015. That is a fair point. Like, these guys go back and forth in their sets. This is way have back. Been for, for quite a while. Here Whoa. we go, though. Here we go, though. Yeah. 52. Take a ride. I want to take you for a ride. Going all the way through. The buzz is now starting to soak some of his uh, trademark adaptation that we're so used to seeing from him. He, he's he's been kind of spacing out. Thing is though, he has been these fairs have been perfect for every time the buzz tries to overextend, even by the slightest. Like he's been keeping like the Pikmin throwing range so close that he is just a, a, a forward air away from getting that punish. And like it's good on E because like ferret for the most part is low commitment. And it, like you mentioned, its range is just perfect. But the buzz is playing around it, I feel really well. Like, especially when he... Oh! Get caught out of that! Woo! And having the dream lay out there. I love how he tosses it away right, right after two for a... For a Blue served it. its purpose. Yeah. He did what he had to do. My man punched in for the, for, for the, for the shift. <laughs> the boss said, all right, you can have the rest of the day off. You did your job. Sound the factory whistle, man. It's going <laughs> home. All right, though. One, one more good... Few hits from uh, rather a few more good hits from E should be able to, but the buzz is taking the aggression out right now on E. I mean, look at this game one. The buzz has been playing off the heel. Yeah. I feel like we haven't even brought up the fact that the buzz is playing from behind since super early, and he's gonna have to go into the set with that being the starting note. He jumped out there for Holy moly! I won. <laughs> even Lucina can't believe it, bro. 
I really won that? That's <laughs> crazy. I was insane. Look how well composed he looks. Like he doesn't, he's not looking super upside. He's not looking super serious. Who, E or? Yeah, E, he's chilling. Jesus Christ. Like he's he's there. He's just playing like like this is just another game, man. Oh, double okay hand. Yo. Triple okay hand. Man, if you got got, you got got. Here we go. And running it back right to FD. Uh, I think one E's landings were just immaculate. He knew where to place dare. He knew where to place back air. He knew where to place fair. He knew how to just land regular. That was two. so smart. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hang. It's time for a trademark. Hangman, breakdown, breakdown, breakdown. He went for the three hits of Dancing Blade at like the longest timing that you could and just spot dodged right away. He knew that the buzz was gonna have some sort of a response. He wanted to know what it was and blew it up right there. That was right out the gate, data collection. And none of it mattered because the buzz <laughs> just aced him. <laughs> Yeah, now this game, DeBuzz, I think, taking a bit more and more... Like, he's been dashing back and forth this entire time to kind of trick up where's E's spacing. And E's been committing a lot to these uh, empty hops. Now he's just eating damage. Like, this is one of those instances where once we see DeBuzz turn up the heat, he gets into a really comfortable tempo oh, and knows wow. how Didn't much he can get away with. <gasps> oh, no, Eric. We don't want to see that, bro. He tried to go for the mix-up off of it, but I don't think the buzz has been smash attacking his landings too much this entire time. Only, only the neutral get-up he's really been trying to catch with that smash. Wow, he found it. Almost he's killed. so okay. good at finding those fares. Yo! That's OD! <laughs> In true is the fashion. Yo! <laughs> Eric's default response to anything is just, yo, that's so deep. Yo, <laughs> he floating around waiting for his opportunity to fare is like terrifying. It's scary because you don't know when, you're gonna, when he's going to swing. You know he's going to swing. You just don't know when he's going to swing. And he makes such a good call as to when he swings. Like people, people rag on him for being a masher, but he mashes in the best way possible. It's the scariest way possible, It's the scariest man. match. A smart masher is a terrifying Yeah, masher. absolutely, bro. Because you know that he's going to have that hairpin trigger to press all the buttons all once the it's good, time to press them. All the good shit. But much in the same fashion we saw the buzz in game one, it's E who's sitting from behind game two. He, he's been slowly whittling him away, too, this entire time. Like, while not getting the Pikmin that, that latch on to do the damage, he'll just throw the ones that he's opting to get, just those nice, meaty hits off of and it's been helping him stay in the lead this entire game. Though E has been making the most out of his punishes, the buzz just proves to be this giant wall that he can't pass. That's the saddest Pikmin death. Oh, so well, they're all sad. There's countless Pikmin die every time. Dead. He's done. His job. His life has been fully completed. You see his little ghosty spirit away. The Pikmin have personality too, bro. They do. They're very sassy. Oh. No. My God. Okay, cool. I thought that was going to kill from all the way out there. I was about to be tight. He's from like hella behind and I would have been tight. Ooh, all right. Nice never mind. scoop up yeah. though with that. That was Sus really whoosh. good. Yeah. Just weaving around him, bro. All right. So game two, pretty convincing for the bus. But now do we see a change in scenery? We see immediately Battlefield's taken away. No battlefield allowed, and I think that's super smart anyways. I think so too, yeah. Did my and man hit the Shadow Clone Jutsu in the crowd? <laughs> <laughs> One okay hand. The crowd's love. You it, gotta though. love the crowd cam. <laughs> they love it, dude. <laughs> Trust me, we love it just as much as you Because, like, it's, it's only just five or six kids crowding around this camera. Yeah, but for some of them, this could be their first, like... This is their first exposure to, like... This could get people not, in, bro. Like, not just the Smash scene, but, like, our Smash yeah. scene. Like, and I think New York, like, truly has one of the greatest Smash scenes on Earth. There's just so much character behind everyone. Like, you know, like, a, a big complaint with, like, some some regions is that like you don't get to see the personality from their players. I feel like with New York, maybe it's because we're so engrossed in the scene or because we have such a good job of like, of showcasing our personality. It's like, you can name a million different people from New York 
They might not even be really tournament relevant, but like you'll know them. You'll know them, like Player Four, for instance. <laughs> That's a good example of players you definitely know. Probably not from bracket, but you know them. Like the the personality and vibrance of just this entire scene is nuts. Like there's a character, there's there's a story behind each and every person. And I feel like it comes scene. through in their gameplay too. Like bring ourselves back into the match with E. All of his play is so. It's so rooted deeply in his reactions, and it just flows so evenly. And, like, Lucina, I feel, is a great character to pilot with that style of play, where she's not very technically savvy as far as what the character is able to do, but she has great general tools who, behind someone with good reactions and good decision-making, can really make it a nightmare to fight. Yeah, it's definitely a character that's tailored to his play style. Absolutely. And on the flip side of this match with the Dubai's, you have Olimar who... Jesus Christ. It takes time to calculate like what your game plan is, but once you have that set game plan, once you know what you can do with your tools, you control the tempo of a match super well, either from being at a snail's pace or completely redline it and just swing like an animal. E, I feel like the amount of real estate on this stage is actually kind of hurting E a bit. I feel like E likes locking into close quarters a bit more, but if the buzz is able to have this fair amount of distance just to close it down, I really don't know why they kind of picked here. I feel like, uh, well, the bands were Battlefield and Smashville, so the only other available stage they could have gone to was like FD that was like pretty small. And I feel like there's no reason for E to take yeah. the buzz to PS2. I feel like that'd be just a dangerous call. So it. it I guess I guess he decided to bite the bullet on this one. Uh, Olimar is another character that is pretty heavily favored for this particular uh, rule set that I feel. Two bands, no DSR on a six stage list, like gives a lot of like breathing room for how Olimar wants to control space. Right. People don't really take that into consideration that it's almost like a different meta for how a stage list operates. Oof. That was pretty cute. That was cute. The Pikmin, the the Pikmin died for it, bro. Oof, get missing he whiffing right there. It. Yeah. That fat would be it. The buzz showing uh, a bit of a return to form here as he's as he seems to be getting his number down pretty nicely. Like you got the download after the game the game one's absolute threshing. It, 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 it's, oh, it's, he's, he's doing it, he's doing the stadium pick, okay. Good thing, right. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like that stage, like E was also forced to land like a fair amount in ways that he wasn't comfortable with. Like he had to neutral air dodge down a lot. He didn't really have any options because the buzz was positioned so perfectly to not get hit by any of the uh, offensive landing options that he had. So I'm very curious to see how he's gonna manage it on this stage. And we got we got Zinnia's theme. My there you favorite. go. You got your favorite. My favorite. I love it. Yeah, I feel like it's. I always like to bring up the point of the airspace in the stage, where it's just like, how well can a character can deny the platforms? Like, how well can a character use the platforms? And Olimar is super good at keeping those platforms with his name on it. You have to worry about up smash and short hop up there from the buzz. And that's not even accounting for if he tries to go aggro on you and swing at you with fair and bear. Like, Olimar has so much in his kit to safely poke away at those. He needs to keep this match locked at the ledge. And at least right off the gate, that's what we're seeing. Yeah, he's, he's doing good. <laughs> speak, speak of the devil, man. Like, and he's taking, you can see the slower approach he's taking also just on, on these platforms as well. That being said, though, both of his, his approaches have been completely stuffed out. The buzz's adaptation and ability to react to whatever you're going to approach with before you even know what you're going to do is actually astounding. Like, he, he's not letting you in at all. He's just full on fortress, and it's, it's, it's up to you to how you're exactly going to penetrate it. There you go. Just like that. He broke the zone. He broke it. But at what cost? I mean, right now, he's playing a pretty even game here. He waited for the spot dodge because he knew spot dodge up smash was coming. Yeah, yeah he used to have played each other enough to get that fair amount of data collection on each other that they know each other's habits, they know what each other wants to do. It's, it's so interesting to see a purely in... Uh, in-state tournament like this because I don't think New York has had a stacked event like this that has just been solely New York in quite some time. Like, I think we had two New Jersey players. Who were they? Uh, Evil and Lean. Were oh, yeah. Today. But that's like, that's it. This is really just the city in Long Island having a time to shine. Oof, Eric and mad right. tricky with that landing right there, but at, what was it all for, bro? I mean, you do have to get Mixie against the boys, yeah, but I feel sure. like that was just a, a rough call. Yeah. 
That being said, though, this, is, this game is giving us shades of game one in the set where it was a fairly even fight, and then it went right off the rails in E's favor. He's fighting these grabs like crazy, man. The buzz just keeps landing on the shield. Trying Charge. to get the read on the landing there. But, oh, a little uh, too much. Yeah. I like keep I like how he's playing off of these platforms too. Like he's landing with these aerials and able to slip right by. And he's making Lucina move so fluidly. And it's like if there's one word that I have to use to describe like peak Lucina, it's precision. Yeah, for sure. Precision in movement, precision in like what you're swinging with. Obviously, your spacing and your swinging. Like you need to be able to be precise with how you're fighting with Lucina. The buzz is forcing that peak play out of E. And while he's able to, you know, answer the call of duty for how he has to play so well just to keep an even fight, you do have to play at your yeah, A exactly. game just to stay alive <laughs> against the buzz. And that in itself is a pretty daunting task. All right. The Pikmin are gone. Oh, they just reappeared. All right, cool. <laughs> I guess are back. they disappeared into his little pocket. The boys after, are back. The boys the are back. All right, E. Waiting for this jump from the buzz right here. Excellent f right there to get out Needed of it. it out. All right, this is where he wants to go for the game. Ooh, okay. Bye, Rare Pikmin. He and saw it. Every spot dodge device is getting blown up for it. I'm actually loving it because it's not an throw. option we often see. That'll do it, yeah. 150 is around the percent where Lucina is going to be killing off of up throw. At least for a lighter character like this. Yeah, you normally sure. don't get a chance yeah. to see it. But little man like like uh, like Omar, he's, he's seeing the sky. Just some light. And managing to parry, he knew the range of it pretty appropriately, too. However, even Stevens, once again. All right, potential last line of That's uh, one move we life. have not seen too much. Dancing though. Blade? Yeah. It's, he's really only been using it as a movement option, and I yeah. feel like that's because he's not getting anything if he strikes on block with that. Like, he got his, his little data collection in the beginning, and then that was it. It's mostly been spacing with fair and then reading accordingly. We've actually been seeing much more back air out of E. And I feel like that's something worth noting, just because he's always ready to reposition himself. And it's a safer swing. He's been, like, distancing it perfectly to strike on shield. But, like, he's hitting shield on purpose. Here we go. All right, finally getting the, the hit in. The Buzz has been doing a lot of damage from ledge, though, on him. That's probably the first ledge trump I think I've seen in a minute. Yeah. Oh! oh, my God. Getting Big the, head! The tilt of it. Game All five. right, five. five head gonna swing. Game five time. Here we out. Second game five we're getting. I think this. This uh, top four is gonna produce only bangers. I'm hype. I'm ready for it. Because this is asking if there's any DSR. Uh, there is no DSR in the stage list. Just trying to figure it out. He's asking, can he go back? He is allowed to go back. He is. And you want to know something? He fought this whole set trying to avoid Stadium, and then he played Stadium yeah, super and he well. Won, so that was actually probably the best we've seen uh, E play. That was the perfect F Smash too. That was, and then that entire ledge sequence was perfectly calculated out for me. Can we actually get like the full replay? The threat zone, like or he, did we he... just get the big slap on big, oh, bigger up? head? Can we get the replay for the last kill? The very last kill. Yeah, yeah. where it started with the the ledge trump. So yeah. Once again, back air sets it up. Pikmin are off. There's only purple alive. Back air eats him up. And he threatens it so well. The buzz is forced to fade back, and he gets the perfect hit of F Smash to get that. Like, Well, let's see if that note carries on as we move into game five. Town and city. All right, here we go. Uh, I think this will actually be pretty good for E once the platforms are out, but once they go away, I fear that the buzz will have a bit of the upper hand. Being this is one of also one of the larger stages, it, it gives the buzz a little more breathing room to work yeah. with. I feel like layout three is what really what E has to worry about, where it's just the two stages, the two plots. Yeah. No but jump. We gotta get there first. Wow! Whoa, just barely surviving. Cheeky. Very cheeky. Like, Lucina performs well on this stage, too. She's another character that has no issue with any of the, the stages in this playlist. Look at how happy they are. They're like, pick me! They are not happy. That is just the only noise they can make. <laughs> it's probably a noise of fear. <laughs> no, they're ready to die. <laughs> I am ready to die. I forgot what the name of it is, but there's a there's a song with, with lyrics from Pikmin. I believe it's Pikmin 2. Is it I Know Uta? Yeah, I Know Uta. And it's like, it's from the Pikmin's perspective about how, like, 
Oh, Omar gave them purpose, so they're ready to die for him because Aww, they live really for him. Cute. It's dark as hell, though! The purpose is to die for this man while he's trying to survive for his life against this. You're this raging child with a giant slab of metal. Yeah. Oh, you mind you, Lucina's gone through some, some stuff in her own game. Very too. angsty teenager. You'd be too if you saw all your friends and family die. That's true. Like, I, I'd be a little tight. I'll put some respect on the name. Oh my god, that is so unfortunate. He actually just, just hopped right over him. Yeah. The bus play hop sketch out here. Getting the crab just off the ups. Barely staying alive in winners' finals. That was actually a really good placement, uh, Pikmin placement right there by DeBuzzo's recovery. If he's throwing them an E and he has a purple on in his hand, E has to be worried about it. Having a purple on the way back is actually broken. Oh, absolutely. You get your aerial, and that could be a good aerial. It's not, like, not only the aerial, but just like you, if he's sitting on stage with shield and you're trying to come back and you have purple in hand, they have to respect it. Now he's got two purples on deck. He has to make this kill count. Oh, he tried to air dodge onto the plot. That actually would have been like the mix-up he needed to survive, but wasn't given the opportunity. Blew a dead boy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just chuck him. Get your damage. Nice they're the purple backup once again. The, the truest MVP. They just Honestly, the Buzz is number one fan. Literally, he's always on deck, bro. He's, always. He's a fan. Wow, how did he know to tech there? Yeah, I hate me sometimes. That's beautiful. That man has inhuman reactions. It's crazy. <gasps> uh, yeah, man. yeet! The pivot grab. Still Not going to die off of it. Yeah, the, the higher ceiling, they decided, hey, we don't want people to die at... 0% off the top of the stage anymore, so let's make the ceiling super duper high. I, I don't think Blue grabbed him though. If Blue got him, he was gone. Oh my god, the fact that it could hit behind him too. Oh, okay, this is where it gets scary for the Buzz. Trying to get it there, but the Buzz like uh, He only has grab. white. There you go, now, now you're looking clean. Not gonna do it just yet. Just gotta get rid of red. And the eventually yellow. And he is ready to move in. And the fair to get that stock off. This is it for E. This is his big chance. He's showing up 167 on his second to last stock. Meanwhile, DeBuzz, fresh last. Woo! He's dead. Yeah, he's very dead. All right. Even Stevens. Here we go. Last stock. Game five. Place your bets, folks. That's this right. is the stock to end it all. Oh, he actually your got it. Lid. He got it. It's only because the buzz dropped shield, but... He did get it. Oh, he's got no purple to come back with now. He only has yellow. He's so got the grab off it. How is he going to get not too far. Him? And purple is the next one up. So he's staying alive, but he's taking so much damage. I like that. He moved in on the pluck, too. Like, he has been showing such good discipline in this matchup. That being said, though, if, if he doesn't, if he What tries, a catch! Oh. <laughs> oh, my lord. All right. He was so close to being able to just even up the damage. Purple's gone. Now, purple great recatch. Placing himself perfectly so the purple wasted no time bouncing back off the shield from E. All right. Oh, oh he no raised the gap, way. but just barely. We the didn't get to see the popping pop off. off for that. That was that mere was... pixels away from failure, but it's the buzz you manages to Jesus. clutch out. That game five. The platform. Look at that. Oh, gosh. Just barely. That was a good to buzz pop off. That was a he really good to buzz pop off, bro. When he is in New York. I'm not even he, capping right bro, now. That was a really good to buzz pop off. I am home, so he pops proud off of the well. buzz right now for that pop off. When